meeting scheduled, um, but this is a pro-choice bipartisan legislative caucus um, that everyone here has signed on to. We have 77 members, I believe, who have signed on now. <laughs> like 212 actually. <laughs> that would be fine um, but we need more in the assembly and a lot more in the Senate um, we're still looking for our first Republican in the Senate to become a member of the pro-choice caucus so I will ask you to stick in your notes if you are meeting with Senate Republicans today if you would ask them could they consider joining the pro-choice caucus it would be great to have all four um, sides of the aisle, so to speak, two and two, um, as represented in the caucus. And really, I just wanted to say thank you for being here. I know, I know that the people standing with me today know and care as much as you do about women's reproductive rights and reproductive health. We know that we're under attack at the national level and state house by state house. We're making sure that never happens here in New York. We're never going back in New York. We're going to <laughs> and I know that you're particularly focused today, as you should be, on making sure Andrea Stewart Cousins' Reproductive Health Act moves onto the floor of the Senate and is passed. And, passed. and Deborah Glick, I believe, is the lead sponsor in the Assembly with probably all the assembly member here's, members that are here on it as well. Um, and we want to work with you and fight for you and want you to put our colleagues' feet to the fire to make sure that this gets done. And since I mentioned that Andrea is, with, is the lead sponsor of reproductive health and have carried it for how many years now? Uh, almost four. Almost four years. So why don't you get up and just say a few words.